Message from Our Lord Jesus Christ to His Beloved Daughter Luz de Maria. June 16, 2010. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My people. You are my great treasure. I love you, I bless you. You transit in extremely critical instants, you transit in the midst of actual and coming catastrophes. You are not alone, I am with you, I protect you at every moment, I bless you in your journeying. I love you intensely, I maintain you in the palm of my hands. Abandon yourselves in my will. Trust in my providence. I look upon you constantly to defend you from evil. Today there are those who claim to possess my word and are creating confusion among my people. You, my beloved, pray with the words that I taught you, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Children, pray with my same words. I do not ask for great speakers or great words which do not come forth from the depths of the heart. I only ask for, truth, repentance, and a firm resolution for amendment. I am infinite mercy, there is no sinner who, coming to me with true repentance, I do not welcome with all of my love. Pray, prayer is essential in these crucial instants in which evil spreads quickly, undermining the heart and mind of each one of you in order to distance you from me. Pray, do not wrap yourselves up in the noise that deafens thinking and distances man's heart from me. You are aware that in an instant like this one in which the earth hangs from an extremely thin thread, you must maintain yourselves fused in a single voice of prayer. Remain faithful. Even when the sun grows dark or shines so much that you feel yourselves burn, even when the moon does not shine and you feel as though you live in darkness, be faithful. You have the light of my Holy Spirit within, very deeply in your being, so that you can see what those who live in darkness will not be able to see. The world's agitation does not allow for clear sight. My mother calls you insistently through all the earth. She calls you to be love, as I call you to be living testimonies of my love and of hope towards all your brothers and sisters. I call you to turn quickly to the sacrament of reconciliation in which I wait for you to give you my peace, and so that way you can nourish yourselves from me in the Eucharist, in which I am present, alive and true. With love I call my ministers, in order that they speak with the truth, so that they transmit my word, so that my people do not continue walking blind and deaf. Do not use this sacred ministry to take advantage in any way. Be faithful shepherds and guide my congregation towards eternal life. Beloved children, every instant of the day invoke me saying, Jesus Christ, save me. Jesus Christ save me. Jesus Christ save me. In every moment of temptation, in every moment of drought, in every moment of doubt, in every moment in which you feel yourselves turn away from me, Jesus Christ save me. Be intercessors for all of humanity, remain faithful, for I remain in you. I will not abandon you, I will provide for all that my people need. Do not fear. Do not fear. I warn you so that you remain alert before all that is coming. My mother warns you out of love, about all that is going to happen. Not in vain have my mother and I prophesied all that is happening. This is the moment of the purification of this generation, a purification of fire. Instance in which water will wash the sin of the earth. Sin that my children have planted in the earth, sin that the earth no longer resists and cries out to be purified. You must not fear more, because I keep you in the palm of my hands. My church will triumph forever and ever. Remain in my love, in my peace, beloved people. I bless you and I bless all your families, all your descendants and your ancestors. I bless you and protect you. Dear Jesus, 
Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. The Instruments Commentary. Brothers and sisters, we face a consecutive series of events in all parts of the world, some caused by nature, others by man himself. Today man is invited time and time again to awaken his conscience. We are children of God, it cannot be denied. Why insist on continuing as if nothing were happening around us? The Most Holy Trinity does not abandon us nor will ever abandon us. But, we must live as God demands. Let us remain alert, because the malignant one attacks the church in order to confuse it. What our Lord Jesus Christ tells us is very important, there are those who claim to possess my word and are creating confusion. Let us pray, let us seek confession and receive the Eucharist, so that the Holy Spirit guides us. Violence increases throughout the whole world, the level of sin pierces the earth and then falls again upon man, leading him to a violence that will be uncontrollable. To so much love from heaven I can only say, Jesus Christ, save me.